Money is a touchy topic for a lot of people. If you have too little of it, you might feel like a failure or you might feel like you're behind in life. And if you have too much of it, you might feel like the target of being taken advantage of. You might feel like inspiring envy in others, or you might just look like you're bragging. I'm rich. Look, like it or not, money is the most important thing in a lot of our lives. We spend the better part of our days trying to make enough of it. And it doesn't help that there's so much misguided money wisdom out there that rewires people's brains and keeps them poor. So allow me to save you from these dumb money beliefs and help you fight back against the conventional wisdom about money. Because in the end, you are what you believe. First, money is the root of all evil. Now this belief has its origins in religion. And I'm not a religious person, but I will concede that the blind love of money over all else is unhealthy. And it doesn't help that we constantly see CEOs and other rich people act in evil ways, thereby proving this very point. But what we don't see are the many stealth wealth millionaires who live in unassuming homes and drive regular cars and who built their wealth through decades of hard work and consistent investing, and that is honestly not very newsworthy. Look, if you build a three, four, five million dollar portfolio over 20 plus years of consistent investing, that is a very impressive achievement, but it's not something the media is going to spend a lot of airtime on. But if someone defrauds a thousand people out of billions of dollars, you can bet the news is going to spend a lot of time covering that. So what you see is not the whole story. And something associated with this point is there's also this idea that the poor are somehow universally more virtuous. We see this in stories all the time. I'm sure you know a lot of these. There is an archetype of the poor yet happy man or woman. Aladdin, Jack from Titanic, Julie Roberts in Pretty Woman. You know the type of person I'm talking about. And what these narratives often try to say is that the poor are rich in experiences, whereas the wealthy live empty lives. And just because it can be true doesn't mean that it always is. But in the real world, the lack of money is a terrible thing. The lack of money can and will impact your health and happiness negatively. It will impact your retirement, and worst of all, it can be passed down to your kids via the lack of opportunities, and these very exact poor money beliefs. Understand that it is perfectly possible to be a wealthy person and a good person. Moral rectitude and wealth are not mutually exclusive. The belief that money is the root of all evil is particularly harmful because it celebrates poverty as if it is something morally superior and absolves people who are trapped in poverty from the responsibility of ever even trying to get rich. Look, I do accept this idea that money can make you more of who you already are. So if you're a dick, you're gonna be more of a dick when you have more money. And if you're a good person, money will better enable you to express that quality. Money ultimately is a tool. You can use it for good or you can use it for evil. Next, Money is not important. Now this pisses me off. God damn it! Think about it. You wake up after what I hope is a good night's sleep, and you're well rested and full of energy. The sun is shining. You're ready to take on the day. And what do you do instead? You simply travel to your work, disappear into a building, assuming you have a white collar job, and you reemerge eight hours later, tired. The sun is set the day is over and you shamble back to your home tired so you can do the whole thing over again for tomorrow. And you do this so you can make more money. So don't tell me that money is not important. Let's be real here. Look, health is important. Relationships are important. Being a well-rounded person is important. Having an impact on your society and leaving a legacy is also important. But all of these things are way easier when you have money. A fifth of marriages end because of financial problems. Money buys you access to better nutrition and better medical care. Money buys you the space to see yourself in the third person. 
So there are two types of people who say money is not important. Those that have enough money and those that have given up any hope of earning enough money. Here's the thing. Money is only important as long as you do not have enough of it. Once you have enough, you can finally start to focus on the things that really matter, but only when you have enough. Next up, money is complicated. Leave it to the professionals, they say. Only people working in banks understand money. Now, this couldn't be further from the truth. In fact, a lot of people want to perpetuate this myth simply so they can charge you a very handsome fee for managing your money for you. Something that you could very easily do for free or for very little. Look, there are stories of cats and dogs and cows either matching or even beating professional stock pickers. Investing has been solved. For the vast majority of people, investing passively in index funds and periodically purchasing shares over a long time horizon consistently is enough. Of course, it's not investing advice. You have to take your time horizon into consideration as well as your risk tolerance. Learning the basics of investing can take anywhere from a few hours to about a month of research and learning for most. And it's not even like learning a programming language or learning how to do handstands or learning how to ride a motorbike. You don't even need to practice it. You simply have to start and then continue doing it consistently for ideally decades. I'm kind of curious to know if any one of you watching believes in any of these or have come across these quote unquote money wisdom that you see floating around or if you know anyone who really believes in any one of these things. Comment down below and let me know. With that, let's move on. Next up, you can't save your way to wealth. It's funny because the people who say this are the very people who spend too much and save too little. Also for these people, living a good life means flying first class to an exotic vacation a couple of times a year, buying a $150,000 luxury car, and owning a multi-million dollar mansion, and maybe a yacht somewhere in there thrown in for good measure. And yeah, they're right. If you want that kind of life, you probably won't get there through saving and working a regular job. But there isn't really any other better way of getting there either. People will say that in order to be very rich, you need to start a business. That's because business owners tend to be wealthy. But that doesn't mean that everyone who starts a business ends up becoming successful and wealthy. There is a distinction here. Businesses that survive end up making their owners wealthy, generally speaking. And the ones that don't, don't get talked about. Most businesses fail. Even if you are talented, you still need a good dose of luck and you need to be at the right place at the right time and know the right people to have a successful business. Now, I'm not trying to discourage anyone from starting a business. If you want to start a business, go ahead. Just don't start a business because everyone else is telling you that that's what you should be doing. So, can you save your way to wealth? Absolutely. Is it going to be quick? Unlikely. And finally, and here's the big one, money can't buy happiness. And I'm sure a lot of you have heard this. And perhaps if you look at lottery winners, then yeah, that might hold true. But here's something you have to understand. Money won is not the same as money earned. Earning your money through sacrifice and consistency will produce happiness as long as you know yourself. If you know what you want in life and you have your priorities in line and money is the only thing that's missing, then absolutely money will make you happy. And I'm not talking about the type of happiness where you're jumping with joy and dancing wherever you go because you are rich. No, the type of happiness that you get when you're wealthy is much more subtle. Not worrying about whether you can make your rent or not because your rent went up or perhaps the financial strain you'd face if you lost your job or hiring someone to do work that you have neither the time nor the inclination to do will all produce an increase in the baseline level of your happiness. And the biggest thing is that money can give you time affluence. It can allow you to get a lot of your time back, you can take extended vacations, and generally not be rushed all the time. Now, if you're smart and you started saving and building your net worth, watch this video here. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, have a great day.